Welcome back everybody to some more Southampton and today we have games against Swansea followed by Wolves and I'm hoping that maybe today we can pick up some more wins. We've not been doing too bad recently especially compared to you know this patch up here where we won one league game in about 10. So yeah we've been doing a little bit better. Wins against Chelsea and Aston Villa, a draw against Brighton and a narrow defeat to Manchester City. Not all too bad. And I'm hoping with a couple of games like the ones we've got today, we can start to pick up some more points. But, as you can see, we have a slight problem. Arthur's picked up a bit of an injury and he's actually receiving injections for it. He may miss the next game against Wolves. So, I think I just called them Watford. It's Wolves. I might do that a few times. It's definitely Wolves. So, yeah, this is the lineup we're going with. The same one we started with against Manchester City. Uh, Patania, S Scott Sinclair, Dusan Tadic, Matt Ritchie, James Ward Prowse, Arthur, Bertrand, Delete, Hadet, Trippier, and Timo Horn. There's the bench. Uh, oh, also, Patrick Catrone's picked up a bit of a knock. He's he's fine. He's literally full fitness. Just, he's fine. He picked up like a two day injury and it just happened to be close. But here is their team then. A few good players in there Andre Ayu, Ajoa, Narsigne, uh, Alfie Mawson. It's not a bad team. Fabianski as well, a good player. A couple of decent bench players as well. Alex Song, Jordan Ayew. So, with any luck, we can beat this. I'm going to say, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to say, the media have been on your backs for ages. They love it. Only two players didn't look, didn't appreciate that. That's Ward Prowse and Matt Ritchie. So, with any luck, we can carry that into the game and pick up some very much needed points here on today. Early into the game then, Batania has picked up a bit of a knock. He appears to be bouncing back from it quite nicely, so it's nothing too worrying, but hopefully that doesn't affect the next couple of games either. We put the ball up from a goal kick though, and Ajoa here looks to come forward with it. Gives it to Roque Mesa, and, well, they hit it wide. That's not, it's not convincing, is it? He just sort of cut through our defence easily there. Hopefully we don't see any more of that. Free kick here then, late into the first half, and we managed to clear it very convincingly there. Dusan Tadic puts his foot through it, and we are still in possession of the ball, not anymore though. And they lump it up, and the elite heads it back, and we keep winning it back, we just can't hold it. As we've said many times with this team, Andre Ayu comes down the left wing, gives it to Haps, and that's a fun name to say, Haps. But Ajoa takes a strike, and it is quite the strike too, and they go 1-0 up in a game in which they have been, well... Wait till you see the stats. I'm not sure if I've shown them on screen yet, but let's let's not see that again. Yeah, they've been pretty all over us. And they have a free kick here then. Roque Mesa to Andre Ayu, and well it's 2-0. It's two bangers. It's What? Where have either of those goals come from? Do we do we have to see it again? I mean it'll only take three seconds. He literally takes this touch and then smacks it straight into the top right hand corner. Or top left. I don't know. We're getting beat badly. It's half time. Um, something needs to change. I'm not quite sure what. Patania's having a mare. Both wingers aren't good. Um, what if we keep Patania on and we swap both wingers? We bring on El Sharawi and Gabbiadini. We scored two in the second half against Manchester City. We can do it against Swansea. Let's go out there and do it. I'm not even going to say anything because... There's no need. They know that it's not good enough. I forgot. There's no need. Definitely forgot. But there's no need. <laughs> and time's ticking away a bit quickly from my liking here. We aren't doing much. Um, we are doing better than we did in the first half, though, as we've brought these new players on. And we do need to see some strikes on goal, though, which at the minute we aren't. We've sat through pretty much the entire second half here, and we've finally got a highlight. Arthur gives it to Tadic, to El Sharawi. Working it nicely. Can we get that ball into the box? Patania on it, to Arthur. We need to find a man in the middle. We need to find a man in the middle, and Gabbiadini is that man. He puts it past Fabianski, and he bags himself a goal. It's been a while since we've had a Gabbiadini goal. It's good to, uh, good to have him back on the score sheet, to be honest. So, with any luck... Actually, didn't he score last game? Or was it Patania? I can't remember. It might have been Patania. I think it was Patania. But anyway, Gabbiadini scores, assisted by the injured Arthur, and we may have another chance for a late comeback here. We had one in the last game. Maybe we can have one in this one. So, Gabbiadini on the ball, gives it to Arthur. Can we snatch a late equaliser here? And then potentially push for a winner as Bertrand gives it to Arthur, who does a little spin. 
That was weird. He turned into a Beyblade for a split second there. Patania to Tadic. Come on, let's try and find something here. Gives it 12 for all. We can he get a ball in the box? Or will he lose out? No, neither really. We're still in possession though. Bertrand in this left hand side. Gives it to Arthur. To Tadic. Plays through Gabbiadini. Who bags his second of the game. If it was onside, it wasn't. Hmm. It's annoying. But another highlight here. If we can win the ball back, we have every chance of getting straight back into this game. As Roque Mesa is on the ball. Gives it to Alex Song. We need that ball now. And... Right now, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get it, unfortunately. As Roque Mesa loses out, though, Gabbiadini is on it, and this is back in our possession. Can we manage to get it forward? We give it to Patania, headed down to Tadic very nicely, and it looks like we are stabilising control of the ball. Now, we just need to turn this into a chance. El Sharawi loses out. No! Can't afford to be doing that at this point in the game as Jordan Ayu rushes forward. He's going to cross it across. Cross it across. And... El Sharawi there with an absolute nightmare of a pass. Loses out on the ball. And that's basically finished the game off for them now. Uh, you can see I'm hovering over skip there. If we weren't recording, this would have been skipped. But yeah, Jordan Ayu with one of the easiest crosses you will ever see. And Ajoa's shot is arguably even easier. And as time ticks away, that is pretty much any hope we had of coming back into this game killed off. Um... Not good. Not good at all. Defeat to Swansea here is pretty much... Yeah. It's a game we had a chance in and we haven't taken it really. Um, we clear the ball but it's full time and it's a 3-1 defeat. And you can see we pulled it back nicely in the second half to be fair. Uh, compared to the second half anyway. We, pulled, we played a lot better. So that makes me think... I'm going to say... I don't know. I'm just going to be aggressive and yell at them. If you lose you just do it and it works. You know, you saw what happened last game when I tried to, you know, oh, we played all right. They just didn't like it. Four to seven weeks? Oh, this is bad. Okay. I'm going to go for four to five instead of six to seven. And, yeah, I'm going to go piece together the team. He's injured again. Hey, we can give him more injections. Hmm. It's tempting. No, I'll just leave him to the physio. Come on. Let's not be silly. Let's just leave him to the physio. Let's get him back to full fitness. And let's try and piece together something that resembles a team from two of our best players being injured. I'll see you at the Wolves game. So we are here then for the game against Wolves. And as you can see, there have been a couple of switches around in the team. Gabby Adini's coming at the striker position to replace the injured Patania. And Romeu has came in. He basically came to me and said, I need game time. And I was going to argue with him. And I'm like, wait, Arthur's injured. Yeah, sure, just play. So, yeah, he's on. Um, bit, bit disingenuous, really. He's not really playing because of his own merit. He's more just playing because the player we would have played is injured. But it placates him so he can play... Um, yeah, Gabby Adini just sort of felt like the natural choice, obviously, the complete forward instead of the target man. With Richie still playing out on that right-hand side, it just felt like the obvious choice rather than trying to change the system or anything like that. Keep the supporting striker, the two attacking wingers, and let's get into the game. Um, that was a segue. Not a very good one, but it was a segue. And this is the team that they're... Hello? Your head's very big. Okay, C. Ronan. Where did you start? Did you start at Wolves? Started at Ports. We started at Wolves, yeah. I don't know why he's like attacking the camera, but that's their team. Uh, it's it's very decent. Um, let's let's go. Um, aggressive. I'm going to do this again. Go out there and show you the world. You've got the world. The world is watching Southampton versus Wolves. Is it? I'm sure. I'm sure this is basically the World Cup final in terms of viewership. You know, it's just like Real Madrid Liverpool. Um, the world. The world. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> we scored from that. <laughs> I was just sort of just chilling like, okay, yeah, let's let this fade out then. And then we're 1-0 up. Um, here's the goal. 
Um, you've seen it already. It's just I'll come to it. Let's pretend we haven't seen it. Matt Ritchie brings it up. He gives it to Gabby and Dini. He finds Scott Sinclair in a lot of space. He slots it past Ruddy, and Scott Sinclair puts his one 0 up. It twenty seconds in. Nobody saw this coming, especially the bloke managing Southampton. He had no idea they were going to score this early. <laughs> Uh, one nil. Lovely stuff. Lovely to get a goal, to be honest. Ah, beautiful. Let's keep it up. Oh, Hadet with a wonderful challenge as they look to push forward. Fove never as we keep it out. Tadic plays it forward. Gabbiadini on the ball. Can we get a second? Gabbiadini finds Scott Sinclair in space. Can he put the ball across? He can and do some. Tadic makes it two. This is the game I needed right now. This is what I needed to see. And... Lovely. I wasn't going to record this one today. I was going to wait till tomorrow. And I'm like, no, I want to do it today. I'm in a decent mood. So let's go. Scott Sinclair puts through the ball to do Santadic. Whoever that is, I'd be fuming if he was my player. Taylor. Yeah, I'd be having a right go. But he's not. So I'm going to be happy. As we have another highlight here. Before even the 20 minute mark, Matt Ritchie plays in Ward Prowse. Back to Ritchie. To Tadic. Oh, he can't quite find the goal. We're looking good though, we are looking very good and you've got to be impressed with the way we started this game as they have a throw-in early on, still, into the game. <laughs> Romeo lumps it up the pitch, still trying to earn his spot and Kevin Long, I thought I was Shane for a second but we didn't sell him to Wolves. So, yeah, there's highlights still going on, I'm not really sure where it's going though. They lump it up the pitch, Trippier wins the header and it looks like we are going to be in possession of the ball. Gabbiadini, back in the striking spot, is actually looking very good, it has to be said. As Matt Ritchie plays through, Gabbiadini takes a strike, hits the bar, and Matt Ritchie's shot is wild. It goes everywhere, except in the net. Sace then, down this left-hand side, in a lot of space. And can he put a ball in? He can, but Hedet heads clear, and we do manage to reclaim possession of the ball. Temporarily, though, as they are back on the attack. Benica Furbe, a brilliant tackle by Hedet. So unfortunate that fell to their player and pulled them one back into this game, still in the first half. But that was a brilliant challenge by Hedek, cannot be denied. I mean, let's just look at this again in slow motion. Beautiful. Trippier should have done better there, should have just punted it out for a corner if we're being honest. But we are still in the lead, that's why we got that second goal. And hopefully we can extend it once again. Let's find out. Okay, I realise I have said that very close to half-time and we are just going to fade into it. Uh, I didn't give as much chance to find out. So, we go into half-time with a 2-1 lead in a match that hasn't been as dominant as the scoreline shows. But, we have been firmly the better team. I'm going to get aggressive. No, I'm not. I'm going to get assertive. I'm going to say, I'm happy with your performance. No, I'm going to say, don't get complacent out there. There we go. Gained focus, motivated, gained focus, start second half, bang. Let's score some more. Are we going to I'm watching it this time. I'm not I'm not giving him a chance. Cavalero runs down this right hand side. He's tackled by Ryan Bertrand. It goes for a throw into them. And it fades out. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Taylor then going to take the throw and gives it to Pookie. Pookie? Pookie? I don't know. He's got a goal. Still don't know how to say his name. As Ronan crosses it in. Headed out though. Scott Sinclair on the ball. And we look to break, and he takes on his man brilliantly, using that pace. Gives it to Tadic, forward to Gabbiadini, and the shot is wide. He had time. I've said this a lot last season, actually. He had time, and he didn't take it. He should have done. Mistake. And with that, I am going to make a change, I think. And I think Matt Ritchie is going to be the player to come off. And I'm going to bring on Patrick Catrone for Matt Ritchie. And then, you know, Gabbiadini moves to the right. You know how we're doing. You can see it. It's on your screen. Use your eyes. You know what I'm doing. You know what I was doing anyway, as Kevin Long takes this throw in. Ruben Neves on the ball, puts in a good cross though, and Pucky goes for his second goal, but he heads over the bar. Close. Got to be said, we're not defending brilliantly. Um, we're living on the merit of those two early goals here, rather than our defensive performance, which has been relatively poor. They have a goal kick. Ruddy is going to pump it up, and Bertrand wins the header though. Scott Sinclair claims it, gives it to Catrone, and can we find... A ball through as Ward Prowse tries to play through Tadic but can't quite. And what was a good attack for us now looks like it might be in their favour. As a Fove plays it to Cavalero. It goes out wide here to Doherty who's in acres. Pumps it forward. A Fove takes the header. We ain't drawing this game. We are not drawing this game. No, no, no. Let's get off control. Let's go attacking. Let's bring on. Oh, I don't want to take off Scott Sinclair. It's an 8.3. Scott Sinclair is having a really good season, actually, and I think I'm underselling it a little bit. I'm going to go on Hoiberg for a Romeu, and he's going to go to a deep-line playmaker on support. And 
I'm going to move Patrick Catrone to that advanced forward on attack. We've got enough supporting players on. We need someone else attacking. Highlight, though, straight from kickoff. It could just be because we've made changes, or it could be because we're going to bag a winner. Scott Sinclair, oh, they're going to bag a winger. That's, that's a winger. They're going to bag... No, it's just because we made changes. We're safe. But this one, we may not be. Ronan plays forward of Fobe. Plays it across... I said we're not going to draw. It's not quite. The man who's attacking the camera is... Put one past us, and I was so gassed when we scored twenty seconds in. I was up there, and you couldn't you couldn't even see it. I wasn't even on camera. That's how far up I was. I was up there. There. That's just about on there. There. Um, but it's all gone to pot a little bit. As they have another free kick, and we're now losing. We're losing to Wolves, newly promoted side, and we're losing. We were, we were two 0 up. It a four. I'm just sad. We had so much potential this game. No, I don't want to see it again. Go away. We were winning. <laughs> ah. I like how that's my defence. Like, we were winning at one point. Um, but I think the worrying thing is, I think I've made us worse from last season. I think we were better. And now we're not. Trippier, though, plays for Gabbiadini. We're not out of this yet. They're fouled. They go down to 10 men. It's a bit late for it to probably have any impact. But... Hmm. I'm kind of annoyed that we're losing this. I'm not going to... I'm very annoyed that we're losing this. I don't get annoyed at Football Manager too much this year. But... That's frustrated me. I'm not going to lie. Um, remember I said I was glad I recorded this? Hmm. Less glad. As we pick up a defeat... To Wolves. And I'm going to get aggressive. I'm far from pleased. Two defeats! I said we could have picked up six points today. Zero. We're back. We're looking more like we're back up here than we are down here. That's because it's more red. We're not winning games. We are, though. What we are doing, let's take the positives. We're scoring more goals. Our defence is shocking, and that needs fixing probably in January. I don't know how, though, because I quite like all our defenders. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to it. But something needs to change, and I'm not sure what. But that's going to be it for today. We'll be back tomorrow for the games against Liverpool and Ipswich. If you want to be here for that, we upload at 5.30 every day. Or you can subscribe to get the videos into your feed. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Better than that game. Goodbye.